Hey, what's up, everybody? I've got a Dale Hens Braun 1 2305 that I picked up at a Goodwill here in Lincoln for $40. Um, just noticed that a 1080p touchscreen and started checking things out, and it's really good shape, so I went and picked it up. 40 bucks with the power adapter wasn't such a bad deal, so I went ahead and uh, checked it out. The only real issue, I'll see if I can get it to, see if you can hear it on camera here, but the processor fan is a little loud, sounds like the bearings might be going out. So I went ahead and uh, installed Windows on it, tested it, everything's working great. Um, and then picked up some parts to do an upgrade. It was missing the bezel from the uh, optical drive there. So I was able to pick a bezel up on eBay for about five bucks, which is crazy, but it is what it is. I uh, picked up a processor fan for about $12, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out. And then also, since it only has a low power Athlon 2 dual core, I picked up a cheap, found a cheap, uh, Athlon 2 quad core on eBay. Still not a great processor, but uh, it's at least better than the one that's in there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, taking this apart, doing the upgrade, um, and we'll go from there. So I wasn't real excited about the thought of having to work on an all-in-one, but it turns out this thing ends up, ended up being really easy to work on. Uh, there's basically a screw here and a screw here. And that's it for the back panel. It just slides up, up and off. And you just pop it and you've got pretty easy access to everything. Um, so like I said, I'm going to replace. I've got some RAM on upgrade. It's only got 4 gigs in it right now. I've got two extra 4 gig 6 laying around. Uh, the optical drive I'm going to go ahead and drop in. I'll put the bezel on as well. And then I'll replace the um, processor and the processor fan as well because we're uh, not doing so hot as far as the noise. I think the bearings in here are going out so hopefully swapping that out will cause the noise to go away. Alright, here's a quick look where everything's at. You can see everything's pretty easy to get to. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video here and I'll do the disassembly. Something that did throw me off here was that bottom panel I just took off. It uh, had screws basically going all the way around the frame and and the cover had to come off before the motherboard cover would come off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the reassembly a little more. Make this video a little faster to get to the point here. And now there we go. We've got everything reassembled and get to the moment of truth here. Turn power to it and we do have a post. And Windows starts to load just fine. So I verified that upgrades have all taken place. The computer now is a quad-core processor with 8 gigs of RAM. Um, still don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to test it here and go ahead and fire up my HD home run and just stream to it over Wi-Fi. So this is my original thought. I could stream from my uh, HD home run over Wi-Fi directly to it. For those of you who don't know what HD home run is, yeah, it'll take an antenna signal, put it on my network, and then, you know, this is going over Wi-Fi. This I believe this has a wireless end card in it. I've got an AC network, but uh, it's going to just give this end. It's going to be the fastest connection it gets, but it's keeping up now. Uh, this is just Fox, and I would imagine Wi-Fi. It's going to be good. So the first thought I had is maybe I can use this to watch TV out on the deck, but somebody comes up with a uh, better idea. Uh, I'm all ears and go ahead and put it in the comments and I'll see if there might be a cooler use for this project computer. All right, thanks for uh, checking us out. And like I said, hopefully somebody can come up with a better option for me to do with this thing. And maybe I'll come up with another follow-up video if somebody does. Thanks.